So you want to build custom pop-up from scratch using React? Not a big deal, you create component with overlay and fixed position and it works and you're happy. But next day you're asked to implement popover component and you create one that index for pop-ups, one for popovers and seems working. But when you try to open your pop-up from a popover you have Z-index bug. And there are much more difficulties with set index and overflow when you're working with pop-ups. Verdict is it hurts. So is there any minimalistic approach to solve such a problem? Answer is portals, React portals. If you don't know what it is, I add the link, check it. Also, I have to say that I saw this solution on the channel of one very good developer and I add the link to his channel, but it's in Russian, so I decided to implement this solution step by step and translate it into English. So how it'll work exactly? Very simple. If you place two elements with absolute positioning and equal Z index one after another, the last one will be on top. And it's default behavior and it solves or our problems. So are you excited? Let's dive in the solution. So let's build the prototype actually. And uh, we need to start from creating portal component. After that, we'll implement pop-up component. And after that, popover, because popover is a bit uh, more difficult. So let's start. Um, I will copy paste the code that I created previously because I don't want you to see how I'm typing everything. So let's create a components folder and inside the components folder let's create actually portal component and portal.jsx. So what we have in portal.jsx um, we should mount our portals every time at the end of the body tag and uh, this logic is related to it. So we create the container and in use effect if we don't have container we create diff element and set this element to the container and we just append the container. So after we unmount our component we remove this container, this diff element from the body and that's it. So we return whether we have uh, the container, we return uh, our create portal or null. So this is it for the portal. Let me show you how we create a pop-up component. So in pop-up JSX, what we have, it's also pretty simple. So we know that we should have open property and on close and we should render some content. So if we see that our open property is false, we just return null. And if open is true, we return portal, which contains um, actually some styling for our pop-up and uh, our content of pop-up. So here we also have some styling. Because of that, let me create pop-up module CSS. You can use whatever styling you prefer, like uh, styled components or tailwind. I think uh, for educational purposes, uh, CSS modules uh, are better. So let me show you what we have in CSS. It's also pretty simple. We just use position fixed, overlay and content, which is based uh, on top of the overlay. That's it. So we have all the styling here and uh, we know that, sorry for the toolbar, one sec. So we know that uh, when we click on the overlay, we do our own close and uh, we should render uh, null if we have open properties false. On close should somehow set our open property to false. And this uh, will be unmounted with this portal. So how it works, let me show you. In the app, we should have uh, some state 
to control the pop-up state. Um, we also should add, of course, use state and our pop-up component. And let me show you. We don't know all of this right now. So simple pop-up and simple button to open this pop-up. Uh, let me show you in the elements what we have here. The reason why we're doing all of this is when we click show pop-up, we know that this, this pop-up appears at the bottom of the body and it works. Seems like it appears at the bottom. Um, now let's let me show you real benefit of this approach. So when we want to render a second pop-up and the second pop-up is placed before the first pop-up. So actually let me copy the, the whole solution. So here we have two pop-ups and the second pop-up should be opened from the first, but in the JSX it, it's placed before the first pop-up. And uh, let me show you how it works. So when we click when we click show pop-up we see it at the bottom when we click again we see second pop-up uh, at the bottom of the body and it works perfectly i hope it'll help you so that's it about this solution and let's proceed with popover it will be a little bit more difficult because we'll use popper uh, library to have uh, some uh, calculations how we actually attach our popover to the elements so let's proceed so to create popover component we will use react popper library let let's check it so for for uh, attach this library we need to install react popper and popper js core let's do it so react popper and oops not this one react popper and popper js core okay now we should create component which we will call popover um, actually it requires one util function which is click outside so this util function allows us to check whether we clicked outside of some reference which was provided here now let's create popover component and uh, how it will look like it will look like this and uh, what we have here first we need to create popper element and we are using use popper from react popper library to have some styles and attaching to our element and here we wrap all of this uh, with portal and click outside and also we have the same properties like is open and on close and children like in pop-up but also we have reference this will be the element which uh, is basement for our pop-up and also the placement property here we will use uh, click outside to understand whether we should close our popover. I think you, you understand this. So this is actually the popover. You should apply some styling and don't forget to use popper styles. So that's it about popover component and let's check how it actually works. So for this I will add uh, this implementation and uh, it seems like previous one but here we have uh, additional two states. It's for reference, which is our popover reference, um, and also state for opening and closing our popover. So now let's see um, how we actually work with it. Uh, so we do attach ref to some of our elements to have popover on it, and we do pass this reference to the popover element. And now let's see the elements here for example we click show pop-up we have uh, 
our pop-up opened and when we click on this element inside this pop-up we have our pop-over and as you can see it doesn't it isn't cut by overflow of this pop-up and it's great and we can also open third pop-up from this pop-over and it goes on top so everything works correctly and this is the final solution so I add everything here so you can grab the code from code sandbox and uh, I hope it was helpful for you thank you